I decided to take my desk wheel setup to a whole new level. Don't mind me if y'all can see my sweat. It's currently hotter than a stomach crease in here. You know, having a desk setup can be quite a challenge sometimes. You always feel a little cramped, you know what I'm saying? And it's not as comfortable as being on a rig. So I was able to make a few changes to my wheel setup and and i want to give a big shout out to moza racing they sent me out some more goodies man so for the past like almost two years i've been on a r5 srp light pedals with the es with the with the es wheel with the 12 inch wheel mod or whatever let me just show y'all so this is the bundle Ugh, damn this shit heavy to hold with one arm i was using this r5 you know what i'm saying with the good wheel type vibe srp pedals Y'all can probably see all the, all the dog hair on these shits. And then a uh, handbrake and shifter. Boom. Honestly, there's nothing wrong with the R5 uh, in the wheel and the pedals. It still works. So, like, I still have it. I mean, might do a giveaway. Who needs a wheel? You'll have a chance to get a, uh, a R5 bundle that's been graced by the man himself. SRP light pedals that have been caressed by... <laughs> Otherwise, I've had a pretty good time with it. My shifter did break, so they sent me out a replacement shifter just like that no issues with my handbrake everything's still going strong but let me show y'all the upgrades it's a lot of boxes so don't don't mind me we got the r5 oh we got the r9 v2 yes sir i got my replacement shifter crp2 racing pedals y'all can see that very nicely with the clutch pedal you know what i'm saying need the three pedals rsv2 steering wheel i love this i love it but we customized it a little bit and i'm gonna show y'all what we did <laughs> good nrg aftermarket baby so we got all of this to upgrade our desk setup i also ordered a couple things off amazon that really kind of added to the aesthetic but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this wheel <laughs> we got the neo chrome carbon fiber nrg wheel over top of the moza rsv2 steering wheel like the buttons and stuff yes i did not need an adapter for this the holes line up so all you got to do is get your aftermarket wheel boom take off the wheel that comes on this and put your own wheel on it isn't this beautiful i also got a carbon fiber shift knob and a shift boot for my shifter it just adds a little bit more flavor to the setup you know what i'm saying it looks super clean the way it is and it makes me it's it's immersing me even more in what we're doing i have pretty much all this stuff set up already so we just skip kind of the unboxing portion of it um but yeah i have my pedals down here i got my r9 set up as you can see my handbrake and my shifter are on this desk clamp that actually lowers them to make it feel like i'm more so in a rig rather than on a desk setup because you know being on a desk setup you got your hands up here you're shifting up here you're hitting the handbrake up here once you bring it down a little bit lower it feels a lot more comfortable right away jumping on the r9 i had to change some settings around in moza pit house i am gonna put up my settings for the r9 uh right here so you guys can go ahead and check that out and uh see what we're working with first thing i want to say crp2 pedals i'm still getting used to them they're a little weird when you're setting them up it's kind of rough it's kind of rough to set them up because you know you want to adjust the angle of the pedals depending on how you're sitting me being a desk setup my pedals being below me the angle they're sitting at is a little weird, but I'm getting used to it. It makes it a little rough when I'm sitting in a chair with wheels on it, because my chair just constantly rolls back when I'm hitting the brake. And they have a load cell and everything. So they are great pedals. They feel great. The quality is great. I still got to get used to them, though. I actually really like this wheel. Originally, it comes with this. It comes with this on it. So this kind of goes with the whole aesthetic. And this is a bigger wheel, too. This feels nice. This is a good feeling wheel right here like really nice nice leather metal no plastic this feels amazing we went ahead and threw the nrg wheel on there like i said i didn't need an adapter literally just popped right on i'll find a way to make this into an actual button i don't think i can though but this wheel is great we got the brake bias we got traction control here we got these buttons that feel really nice these are really nice feeling buttons and i could definitely see the difference between this and my es wheel now the ES wheel here is definitely a bit smaller. It may not look like it on camera, but it is. The ES wheel has a bit more buttons to kind of, you know, for bindings and stuff like that. This one's more, seems like it's more geared towards just racing. So you're gonna have a different button layout and different styling here. And you can actually change the colors 
of these buttons here when the wheel is on. A cool thing about the R9 is that you can plug your handbrake and your shifter all into the base. So you don't really need a hub and you don't need to have so many USB connections into your PC. Uh, which helps a little bit with latency and just kind of keeping some of your ports on your PC a little bit freer. And it also helps when binding in games because you could just bind everything straight from Moza R9 and bind all your gears, everything in one section. Just like in Car X Street where you have to bind different devices, you can bind everything on one section, voila. Going back to the CRP2 pedals, I did set up a spacing to where my gas is a little bit closer to my brake and my clutch is more off to the left. It just feels a little bit more comfortable for me when I'm, when I'm, you know, left foot braking or anything like that, or even heel towing to downshift. How I have it now is really comfortable and there's a lot of adjustability in terms of the load cells and the angle of the pedals of the brake, gas, and the clutch. So once you get it set up, it may take you some time to fiddle around, but once you get it set up to your liking, you're pretty much good to go and you just gotta get used to them. It is a night and day difference between the CRP2 pedals and my SRP light pedals. It just made me realize how much cheaper those pedals feel but either way, they're good pedals. I've had them for almost two years now and they work completely fine. So don't think that it's like a, it's a bad option because they're cheaper. You know what I'm saying? They're still good pedals. So all of these things in tandem have helped me upgrade my wheel setup. And it's also caused me to deep dive a little bit more into Moza Pit House software to find the right setup and the right settings for my wheel per game. Safe presets i would tell you save presets it makes your life so much easier if you're looking to upgrade your setup and try these products out for yourself i will leave a link in the description for you that includes my moza affiliate link and amazon links to the other little stuff that i added to my setup make sure you guys subscribe and drop a like if you haven't already it feels so good to have a ship god i know car x isn't the most realistic game to you know test out a wheel on but the physics oh, feel nice enough i feel like Give it a shot. Woo! Ugh. Yes, sir. And this is on the regular physics, so this is not the PTR. And this feels so smooth, man. A lot smoother than my R5. Still getting used to these pedals, but we get in there. You can actually feel the bite in the clutch, like where it engages and everything. Oh. Woo! This feels so much nicer, man. Shift up. I'm so glad I got a replacement. Woo! Yeah. And for all of y'all saying I was sitting too close to the wheel like a grandma, look at me now. Woo! I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. My setup just got an upgrade. This feels so good. Let's see if I can hit this section real quick. All right, we dive in here. Oh, that angle. Very light input on the brake for that left foot brake, man. I'm starting to think now that my R5 just had that weird oscillation issue. I don't know why, but uh I'm not having that problem anymore. Woo, this is so strong. Oh my goodness. So now we are on good old Aceto Corsa. All right, I'm gonna adjust the force feedback. Let's drop this down to like 60. Oh, that feels a lot better. It's still pretty torquey, but it feels nice. Like, Cray, why are you in third person? I don't want to hear it. Woo. Wow. I missed this. I did. Smiling is literally like my favorite track. So, or one of them. Wow. I haven't drifted on a, a set of course in a while and I'm back like I never left. I still might lower it a little bit. Maybe like 50 would be a good area. 60 is still pretty strong. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah. It's time to cut up. It's time to cut up. Woo! Hello. Woo! It's windy. Oh my 
my god, I'm on the shoulder. Ugh. I gotta turn the force feedback down in this car too. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. gonna have to lower the force feedback in a lot of these cars because this can get crazy oh there we go that's a lot better that feels a lot smoother Woo! oh yeah really appreciate you guys for watching man make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed join the discord follow me on twitch all the links you need will be in the description and i'll catch y'all in the next video oh god we crashing already god damn it i'll catch y'all in the next one